What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Rockstar NFT. We're on Cointelegraph.com. We got a special NFT uh, project news here for you today, and this is according to a collector, Suzanne, and she says, "Treat your first NFT purchase." like a first date however before we get into the video as always i just want to say i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice do your own due diligence and research before you invest in any cryptocurrency remember these videos are for educational purposes only if you're new around here hit the subscribe button down below turn on the bell for all notifications please help us educate people positively by leaving constructive comments so nft collector suzanne on counterculture and unpredictable generative art which has crypto punks and stuff like that so thanks to her insatiable love for new tech anonymous crypto punk suzanne has been thoroughly or sorry nft pilled building up a beautiful and valuable collection of digital works throughout the years as well as acting as a moderator in the crypto punks discord so she delved into crypto in 2013 with a bitcoin purchase which shortly became an obsession now since then suzanne has built a highly desirable collection including her crypto punk pfp she says her favorite pieces are uh, fidenza 128 and wild blonde crypto punk she says and from early on her end goal in the space was always to own a crypto punk very cool stuff you could check out some of her artwork here which is pretty cool pudgy penguins number 4935 suzanne's first nft purchase now her love for generative art grew over time and she was lucky to have the opportunity to buy her favorite fidenza which is about one and a half years ago and it's on my wall in my living room and the most beautiful piece of art that i will ever own and she's got some other stuff here that looks pretty cool very modern and contemporary stuff interesting there so she's a big fan of early female computer art pioneers like Lillian Schwartz and Vera Moliner and recently became interested in photography and AI art she says she's a big fan of um, Rope Rainzato, uh, Artemis Land uh, Derek and Oslern, whoever those people are, I guess they're other artists. Suzanne is one of the best thread collectors on NFTs and digital art on the social media platform X as well. And as an academic, she's been interested in the impact of new technologies on the economy. And what intrigues her about them is digital art and its convenience in storage and decentralized nature. So that's what she's really interested in right here. As you can see now, CryptoPunks culture has been a big part of her love for nfts as you can see and most collectors consider crypto punks as the holy grail of nft and suzanne agrees in purchasing her first punk in early of 2022 and she bought her first knitted cap female crypto punk number 9967 in february 2022 in may of that year now i've only recently stepped into the discord role for punks and it's been a really surreal experience to collaborate with some of the earliest claims of punks very cool stuff and i did cover this on this channel i've, I've talked about crypto punks and they're among the most knowledgeable individuals she's ever encountered she said and this is crypto punk number 9967 that she bought and the community element really resonates with her and they're always dedicated to welcoming newcomers and when she was asked to describe the punk culture, she believes that the ethos of the original countercultural movement still rings true today, 6.5 years on from launch. And she says, punk culture to me embodies the essence of counterculture. Crypto punks are funny, tech savvy, and are true to the OGs in the space. Very cool stuff. And I believe this is some of her portfolio right here. Crypto punks, a buyer's guide. Um, or it's a buyer's guide. Yeah, this is on OpenSea, I do believe. Check that out as well. And she talks about generative art here and has a passion for it. And her X threads definitely talk about a lot of that and her love for generative art as a concept as well. However, it's still widely misunderstood, she says. Um, but obviously she shared her own takes. There was generative art is a form of art where the artwork is created by an autonomous system autonomous system sorry and such as a computer program set of rules algorithms and things like that often designed by the artist so the end result can be unique unpredictable pieces each time the system is run generative art presents a shift from traditional art making to an innovative collaboration between artist and machine pretty cool stuff so she talks about that on her threads a lot 
Um, rapid fire Q&A. So what's the first NFT she collected? A bike helmet, Pudgy Penguin, 49.35. Um, your top three favorite crypto punks attributes, welding goggles, wild blonde, and orange side. So that's her three favorite right there. Very cool stuff. And what's an underappreciated NFT project in her opinion? Well, photography in general. And who's an up and coming generative artist? You'd encourage readers to check out Artemis, one of the most brilliant people in the space. What's your favorite one of one art piece? Uh, art HQ right here on Tezos. Very cool as well. And if you could have one additional punk from the entire collection, which one would it be? CryptoPunk number 9741, she says, as backed by Pablo Pancaso. What's your advice to someone just discovering NFTs today for the first time? Well, don't go bananas on your first buy, treat your NFT purchase like your first date. First NFT purchase exciting, but you don't have to put a ring on it, pace yourself. All right, man. Well, that's interesting. Uh, Suzanne's take on NFTs is pretty cool. Hopefully, uh, you guys got some information out of this, some education. That's going to do it for this quick video here on Rockstar NFT. Like, comment, subscribe, share. We'll see you guys in the next one.